Hey guys, DS Cuber here, and today I'm bringing you a tutorial on how to solve the 2x2x3. Now the 2x2x3 is a fantastic entry-level puzzle uh, that brings people into the cuboid world. I definitely recommend buying one of these if you don't have one already. They're not too expensive, and it's a really fun puzzle to learn how to solve. Uh, I was asked to do a tutorial on this because it's one of my more favorite cuboids, and I figured, why not? There aren't that many good tutorials out there, so I figured I might as well make this one. So, before I dive into this tutorial, I'd like to discuss notation for this cube. There's... I'm going to break notation down into two parts, because at one point in the tutorial, I'm going to have you hold the cube horizontally as opposed to vertically. So, when you're holding the cube vertically in the beginning of the tutorial, you're only going to need to focus on the R, U, and F faces. So this would be a U, this would be U prime, and because these uh, longer layers only rotate 180 degrees, there's no difference between doing an R and an R prime. So you're only going to have to know R, F, U, and U prime. U prime being in the uh, uh, counterclockwise direction and U being in the clockwise direction. So what I'm first going to do is scramble this puzzle up and then do a quick walkthrough solve and then I'm going to dive straight into the tutorial. Okay, so I have the puzzle all scrambled up, and the, what I first try to do is solve a particular face. Now, like I said, I'm going to be solving this puzzle um, with the in the vertical position. And in order to start this, I'm going to look for the face that has the most colors properly oriented. In this case, it is the gray, uh, light gray face as opposed to the uh, dark uh, charcoal face, because if I look at this corner pair here, these are incorrect, these are, so all I have to do is move it over and put it in. Uh, now I've turned the entire cube upside down, and then I take a look at the top layer. Now I notice that I have to swap these two corners, so I'm going to do this following algorithm. And that properly orients the, uh, the top layer, and now all I have to do is solve for the middle layer, which is just this simple move set and the whole puzzle is solved. Now, based on what I did in the walkthrough solve, you probably were able to pick up on uh, how you're supposed to approach this puzzle, but in case you didn't, that's what this tutorial is for. So I'm gonna go ahead and scramble this again and get back to you guys in just a second. Okay, so I scrambled this cube up quite a bit and this is what I got to. So, uh, when I start this puzzle, like I said before, I look for the face that has the most color completed on it. Now, these are two uh, bars of opposing colors, so you could technically start on either one. However, if you look at the light gray, these two corners are correctly, uh, incorrectly paired, so these two would need to be switched, but these two don't because these form a yellow bar. So I'm going to start by solving the dark gray face, and I begin by looking for other dark gray corners, and there's none on this face, so they have to be over here. So holding the cube with the light gray face facing down, I'm going to look for um, one of the corners that'll go into the dark gray face. So, here's one of the corners that I need. Now this is the uh, red, green, and dark gray, and this corner is going to go here, because over here you see that this is gray, uh, this is green, and when I properly insert it, this piece is going to flip, and these two colors this piece here is going to flip down to here, and these two colors are going to swap. Uh, that's just basically how the cube is structured. If you notice this, basically what happens when you do a uh, long rotation, so like one of these layers, when you rotate it, it goes from the top here to its diagonal position. Now, in order to properly orient this piece, you're going to want to put it directly above where it has to go, so I have the piece positioned directly above where it has to go, it's right here. Now, I would normally just do this, but that doesn't properly pair it, so there's a slight algorithm that you guys have to learn, and that would be R, U, R, U prime, R. And that correctly inserts that corner piece. And you just do the same thing to the last one, which in this case is right here, I don't even have to rotate it above its proper position, and I do R, U, R, U prime, R. And that drops that corner from directly above into its uh, respective position. Now, we're not going to focus on the middle layer, we're going to focus on that last. Next, what we're going to want to do is correctly solve the top face. Now, 
There's one of three states. You can either have it in this state, the state that I'm going to bring it to next, or it's completely solved. Uh, if you have it in this state, you're going to need to do the following algorithm twice. And if it's in uh, the state that I'm going to bring it to, you only need to do it once. So from here, you're going to want to do the following moves. R, U, R, U prime, R, F, U prime, F, U, F. And that swaps two of the corners. You can see that these two corners got swapped, and these two are now uh, the only ones that remain incorrect. Now, in order to execute that algorithm the second time, because I mentioned that you need to do it twice if you're in the previous state, um, what you're going to need to do is hold it so is hold the cube so that this top bar of properly paired corners is to the left. Now, this is the other state that I had mentioned. Uh, most of the time, you're going to solve the puzzle starting from this position. Very rarely do you get it in the state where the corners are have uh, have to be swapped diagonally. So this is that second state, and. Uh, Basically, it's the exact same algorithm. Again, you just hold the bar to the left and you do R, U, R, U prime, R, F, U prime, F, U, F. And with that, the puzzle is solved. However, a lot of times you're going to run into a case where you need to solve for the middle layer. So I'm going to go ahead and bring up the cases where you would need to solve the middle layer. All right, so I brought up one of the cases where you're going to have to solve the middle layer. So you could see here that these three edges, and I'm talking about like this column, this column, and this column. So these three edges here all need to be cycled. So this edge piece needs to be flipped around and then moved over here. This edge piece needs to be flipped around and then moved over here. And then this edge piece needs to be flipped around and moved diagonally across the cube to this position. So basically these three edges needs to be cycled, and this is the only one that's properly oriented. So when you have a case like this, uh, you're gonna either have to execute this algorithm one or two times, but it's a very simple algorithm. And uh, before I do this, I wanna first say that I'm gonna be referring to an M slice. Doing this is an M, and doing this is an M prime. So this is the following algorithm in order to cycle these edges. So you're gonna wanna do R, M, R, M prime. Now you can see that that cycled it once in the counterclockwise direction. You're going to, want to do that a second time in case it didn't already solve the puzzle. So you're going to want to do R, M, R, M prime. And that solves the puzzle. This is the second case where you're going to have to solve the middle layer. And these two edges simply need to be swapped, just like that. But obviously you can't do that because that ruins the corners that you just solved. So you're going to want to hold the puzzle horizontally this time. And now this is going to be referred to as the R face, and this is going to be referred to as the U face. So this following algorithm is going to be R2, U, R2, U, R2, U. And that solves those two edges. The last and final case that you could potentially run into is a case that looks like this. So if you have this following case, again, you're going to want to hold the puzzle horizontally. And you're gonna to wanna to do so with this incorrect bar on the top and bottom. And from here, you're going to wanna do, um, referring to this as an M slice, you're going to wanna do M2, U, M2, U, M2. And that solves the cuboid. So that about wraps it up for this cuboid tutorial. If you guys found this helpful or have any questions, be sure to post them in the comments section below. Anyway, that wraps it up for this video, so be sure to subscribe and like this video if you found it helpful. Keep on keeping, guys, and I'll see you guys in the next video.